वाहे गुरु 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 जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फते वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फते साथ संगत जी टुडे अमंगस्ट all of you to, through this live program we're making this small initiative to connect with you today we're going to introduce ourselves and we are part of a committee newly elected committee members but it so happened as the committee got got um, established and we came into action we had this massive pandemic and we never ever got an opportunity to meet all of you and to connect with you not losing hope and not missing any opportunity. We decided that we carry on with our seva and we must reach out to all of you in this country, in this city, around and other cities in this country and across internationally as well because we know we have a great following on our Facebook page and on social media for Gurdwara Sahib. So today, 
We are going to introduce there will be four committee members, four Seva Das. We have Gurvinder Kaur Randhava, Pami Penji, who is Sataram Pracharak. We have Harvinder Kaur Dhulku on my right side, or most popularly and famously known as Bindi, a health and well-being officer. I have Priya Hare on my left-hand side, who has a matrimonial portfolio. And myself from NICOR, I'm the Assistant General Secretary. So today we're going to start. We are here with you, and I think what would be really, what we would really appreciate is this is an opportunity for you to ask us questions as well. So if you have any questions, you need any clarifications, you have anything that you want to talk about, this is what this is all about. So do connect with us on Facebook, do connect with us on YouTube, send your questions to us so we can answer. However, to get the ball rolling, what we're going to do is we're going to start introducing ourselves. We will talk a little about ourselves to give a little background of who we are, where we come from, how we got connected with the Gurdwara Sahib, how we got connected with the committee as well, what our vision is, how do we aspire to and look forward to continue with our seva with your help and guidance. So starting with this talk, uh, firstly, I would invite Harvinder Kaur Dhulku, Lindy Penji to talk about herself. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh Sa Sangat Ji. Everyone knows me as Vindi, but my full name is Harvind Kaudulku. I've been coming to this Gurdwara in Shepherd's Bush since 1991. I came into this country from Malaysia at the very ripe age of 19 in 1989 and started my student nurse training at Charing Cross Hospital. Coming from a background of Sikh family, very strong and traditional background, I was searching for a local Gurdwara, and back then there was no such thing as Google Auntie and Google Uncle. So after looking around and asking around the local shopkeepers, Indian shopkeepers, I found this local Astan, and I started coming here from 1991. A lot of the old Sangat will obviously recognize me and know me and my family because we've been coming since then and participating in the local seva here in this Gurdwara. The relationship in this Gurdwara with me personally grew because as, as a person coming from leaving home and coming, crossing the seven seas and coming so far away, I had no family, I had no friends. Everything was new and alien to me, and I was all alone. But when I came to this Gurdwara, I was embraced with so much of love, and it gave me so much more encouragement and motivation to come here and carry on connecting with the Sangat here. And this has been going on since, and the rest of my family followed suit when they came here. So all these years, people have known us and connected with us, and we have a funny nickname called the Malaysian Sangat or the Malaysian family, because it goes back way back before I came to this country, since Shepherd's Bush Gurdwara is centered in central London. So all the Malaysian students that come to, this, to London for studies, universities or colleges, this is the Gurdwara all the Malaysian Sangat and students came to to pay homage and participate in seva. And that's why this is known as the Malaysian Sangat Gurdwara as well, as a nickname. Obviously, my love and fondness for this Gurdwara and the Saad Sangat Ji has grown over the years. We have become a big family. We've integrated as a huge community and a big family. Everyone here looks out for each other. Everyone helps out each other. And there, there is a lot of respect for one another. I personally have seen this when I lost my brother in 2003, how this Gurdwara community came together and looked after me and my family and supported us during the worst times of our lives. And they have kept us strong, they have kept us going, and they supported us without any doubts. So when the elections were coming around, obviously as a regular sevadar and a familiar face, I was approached and asked if I would come in and participate and be a sevadar and part of the new committee. And that's basically how I became the health and well-being secretary from my background as a nurse. And I still practice my nursing to date. And that was the brief history about myself. Let me hand you over to Panji Priya and she will talk to you about herself. Thank you, Indy. 
Uh, Vaigu Ji Khalsa, Vaigu Ji Ki Fateh, Sangat Ji. Um, it's um, very humbling to be here and um, be part of the committee, actually, um, in front of Maharaj Ji and Guru Kar. Um, well, my story is I was born in the Midlands, and um, luckily we always were close to a Gurdwara. And um, when I moved to London, um, it was about 1997, and um, every time I was in a place, I was always close to the Gurdwara. And I started coming here more regularly, I would say, in 2010. Um, but as soon as I came here, there was this energy, um, just this welcoming energy from the Sangat. And I think the first person I, I met here was Gurpreet Virji. Um, and, you know, we just got in to the kitchen, helped, and um, just became part of a family. And, um, and it was just like, it was really amazing. I haven't been here as long as Vindi Penji. Um, but I feel I've been here for years, and it was something that I needed to be part of. And um, I worked around here, and I, I live very close to here now as well. I've changed a few you know, places, but now I'm just literally down the road. Um, so that gives me the time as well in between work to come here, do seva, uh, be part of the whole sangat, and um, you know, and we've made, I've made so many. Um, I think it's more like a, yeah, like I said, a family, and I've got my sisters here, um, and if there's anything, we try and help and inspire and motivate each other as well. Um, so it is a beautiful feeling, and we want to, as a committee. This is the first time being in the committee, and um, actually, uh, the funny thing is, I wanted Windy's um, position. <laughs> I said, maybe I should do um, health and well-being, and I wanted to bring yoga in, but she's, you know, she's going to do a better job, I think. And I was asked to um, look at matrimony, and I thought, oh, that's interesting. Um, so with matrimonial, it's a blessing. It's um, seva, I look at it as seva given to me by Maharaji and uh, Gurpreet Viji said, you know, I think you'd be really good at matrimonial. And yes, it is, putting two people together, um, actually putting the whole thing together because my background is um, with PR and events and in the luxury, you know, field. So it's beautiful to, you know, recommend designers, the whole package, and um, I'm really looking forward um, to going forward and putting things together. Um, and later on in this conversation, we will tell you what our goals are and what we look at doing. So I think that's, um, you know, there's so much more that I can tell you about myself, but I would like to pass on to Ramnik Benji now. Um, to explain about herself. <laughs> Thank you. Ka khalsa, ki fateh. Before I start talking about myself, I'm going to invite Pami Benji. Right. Unfortunately, Pami Benji, because she is in isolation, um, she cannot leave home, so she cannot be with us in the Darbar Hall today. But she is on phone with me, so I'm going to have a quick confirmation with her that she can hear me, and then I'm going to put her onto the mic where she will talk about her own self. Pami Penji has a lot of experience. She has been with the Gurdwara Sahib for a long period of time. So she has so much to share. So please, Sat Sangaji, bear with me. Pami Penji, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, but I cannot hear the others. That's okay. I can't hear the others. That's okay. I'm putting you on the phone. You speak about yourself now. Okay, thank you. You're ready now. Yeah. Hello, Satrika Alji, Vaiguji Kakalsa, Vaiguji Fate, Sasangaji. Ikmak Nimani, okay. Up my experience here, Karanagi background, they live here. That's most of people, they know me. Most of the Sangha, they do recognize me. Gurdaraji Seva, which Manu Sankane Seva, Bakshi, a coffee sal, who gay. Each time, Manu selection committee, Jandia, Jada Tarmanu. Different role mil dene par pichle thode saala ko matrimonial role milia kisi board nu bhi milia si fir ona ne menu handover kar dita fir main wo kar di rahi 
ਛੇ ਸੱਤ ਸਾਲ ਅੱਠ ਸਾਲ ਤੋਂ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਲੰਗਰ ਸੇਵਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਲੰਗਰ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਮਿਲੀ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਮੈਂ 6 ਸਾਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਫਿਰ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਹੈਲਥ ਐਂਡ ਵੈਲ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਮਿਲੀ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਮੇਰੇ ਮਿਸਾਂ ਵੀ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਹੋ ਸਕੀ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਦੀ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਦੇ ਹੈਲਪ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਮੈਂ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਨਿਭਾਈ ਕੋਰ ਕਮੇਟੀ ਦੀ ਵੀ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਬੜੀ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਹੈ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਦੀ ਵੀ ਕਾਫੀ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਮਿਲਦੀ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਅਕੋਰ ਫੁਲੀ ਕਿ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਅੱਗੇ ਤੋਂ ਵੀ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਮਿਲਦੀ ਰਹੇਗੀ ਹੁਣ ਇਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਧਰਮ ਪ੍ਰਚਾਰ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਹਿੱਸੇ ਆਈ ਹੈ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਦਾ ਸ਼ੁਕਰ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਕਰਦੀ ਕਿ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਹਿੰਮਤ ਦੇਵੇ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਤੇ ਹੋਰ ਮੈਂ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਕੁਝ ਆਪਣੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਬੋਲਣਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੀ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਕਾਫੀ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੇਰੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਪਤਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਤੇ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਰਿਕੁਐਸਟ ਕਰਦੀ ਕਿ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਸਾਰੀ ਸੰਗਤ ਮੇਰੀ ਮੇਰੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਪ੍ਰਵਾਨ ਕਰੇ ਔਰ ਮੇਰੇ ਜੋ ਗਲਤੀਆਂ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਹੋਈਆਂ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਵੀ ਮੈਂ ਭੁੱਲ ਚੁੱਕ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਮੈਂ ਉਹ ਉਮੀਦ ਕਰਦੀ ਆ ਕਿ ਕੋਈ ਮਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਹੀਂ ਰੱਖੇਗਾ ਔਰ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਅੱਗੋਂ ਵੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰਨ ਦਾ ਬਲ ਬੁੱਧੀ ਬਖਸ਼ੇਗਾ ਅਤੇ ਸੇਤ ਬਖਸ਼ਣਗੇ ਹੁਣ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਮੈਂ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਾ ਸਕਦੀ ਮੈਂ ਘਰ ਬੈਠੀ ਹਾਂ ਉਹ ਗੁਰ ਸੇਵਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਜੈਕਟ ਹੈਗਾ ਉਹ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਲੰਡਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋਮਲੈਸ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਲੰਗਰ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਹੁਣ ਮੈਂ ਉਹ ਘਰ ਬੈਠਿਆਂ ਜੁਇਨ ਕਰ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਤੋ ਹਫਤੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਹਰ ਸੈਟਰਡੇ ਸ਼ਾਮ ਨੂੰ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਵੀ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਲੰਗਰ ਤਿਆਰ ਕਰਕੇ ਗੁਰ ਸੇਵਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਜੈਕਟ ਮੈਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਹਾਜ਼ਰ ਕਰ ਦਿੰਦੀ ਆ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਲੰਡਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋਮਲੈਸ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਅਨਫੋਰਚੂਨੇਟ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਡਿਸਟ੍ਰੀਬਿਊਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਨ ਉਹ ਮੈਂ ਵਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਦੇ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਕਰਦੀ ਆ ਕਿ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਹੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਬਖਸ਼ੀ ਰੱਖੇ ਔਰ ਨਿਮਾਣੀ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਮੈਂ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰਦੀ ਰਹਾਂ ਵਾਈ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਈ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਫਤਿਹ Why Guruji ka khalsa why Guruji ki fateh my sincere thank you to priya penji vindi penji and pammi penji for sharing their stories their background it is so interesting to know um asi seva karde ha we come to gurdwara sahib we meet each other but sometimes we do not have time to know more about each other it is very very important to understand personality dynamics because those dynamics are what make us it's very important to understand each other's experiences because those experiences are what become us that's how we learn to express ourselves conduct ourselves in life um it is interesting so i'm going to talk a little bit about, about myself but i think what is really important to understand that we all, as human beings we all have a journey a journey that we make that journey will take us through many ups and downs um i have lived in two different countries i'm originally from born raised in india I have been through many ups and downs. I have witnessed which is the biggest challenge of my life was having witnessed the 84 riots in India. We lived through that. Uh being the only Sikh family in our village and my dad belonging to a particular political school of thought. We were targeted by the government. Um which is aside it for me that's not important what is important is the philosophy and, and the ideology that my parents gave us and how we emerged from that challenge and i do remember a question by by my asked by my dad to my mom so my dad's no longer with us but he asked her after everything was in ruins house was burnt all our jeeps cars everything lay there all completely burnt um we had nothing to live on th- practically because business had come to a standstill but the question my dad asked my mom was tu mainu das asi fateh kithe bulaiye because that's the decision they had to make as parents do we continue living in a very hostile environment or shall we move to a more peaceful place where we mo- would not be discriminated my mom said jithe ha uthe rawange te uthe fateh bulawange and by why guruji's get grace We my dad was able to establish the first minority college in northern India which is a now university in Dehradun named after his great grandfather. So that is the philosophy that we have been raised on. Um as it happens it is grest ashram is part of our life that's a philosophy that we also follow. When time came my family started finding um suitable you know suits for me to see who would be so perfect to marry their beautiful daughter um 
So we had offers and I looked around, we met, so I, had, I got married to this wonderful person who I thought was wonderful and I came into this country. Um, and then it's, it is a story of what I think one of our, our um, Sewadars was also connected with the Gurdwara Sahib and is doing a lot of work to raise awareness about social issues and causes and lots of other challenges of NRI marriages. It was a very classic example of where things didn't go well. Um, and especially that's something that we need to focus on. When things like these happen, a society, Gurdwara Sahib and other organizations have a role to play. So we will, as, as a committee members, look into that as well. We have to build a support mechanism for our younger generation. And I think that's something that three of us and four of us and other women who are part of the committee will be looking into because it is kind of a, a binding factor with matrimonial health and well-being and lots of other social causes that should be part of our philosophy and how we implement that. Um, so moving on, yes, I came here. Life has its challenges, but we all overcome those challenges. So um, I think I have more tenacity. Being in, uh, in India, I also went through my military training. I'm a trained um, soldier, ex-Indian Army retired officer. So um, giving up is not part of our philosophy. We did not, um, I did not decide to give up and move back to India. I decided, as my dad said, question myself again, and I decided this is where I would be, would be staying. Um, it was part of my life, again, difficult moment when I was going through, and like everything else, we find peace in, with our Guru Sahib. So I was living in an area where I did not have any Gurdwara around me. So um, having Googled a place, I found, okay, oh, here's a Gurdwara Sahib, and I started coming here for my Matha take. Time passed on, it was only a couple of years ago. Um, I was sitting at home and I was doing my sermon and I decided it's been a long time I haven't been to Gurdwara Sahib because I used to travel to Southall to go to Nanaksar Gurdwara Sahib. And I looked online, I said, oh, let me see if Shepherd's Bush, I must go there. And I, and I messaged on the Facebook saying, Gurdwara Sahib was under renovation. When do you think the Gurdwara Sahib will be open again? So prompt came a reply from a very cheeky person who I now know as, know as my brother, Gurpreet Singh Anand. Why don't you come and do some seva? <laughs> and I was like, okay. And that is when I reconnected. And that, has, that is when I also realized the importance that what's the importance of Sangat? What is the importance of Sangat? And what is Simran? Remember, they're, three, they're all different strands of our meditation or of our, of our seva. So I reconnected and that, that was a journey and the most beautiful experience I would say of my life when I connected with everyone. And as I've said before, finding a family on foreign lands. Again, I found my brothers, sisters, uncle, auntie, and all of a sudden I had, you know, when I walked into Gurdwara, someone putting their hand on my head and giving me blessings. Those blessings are the most beautiful experience anyone can go through and experience. Um, so that was the background about myself. I am a head of school in a further education college, so I have a big portfolio in my college. We have six to seven different departments in my school. We look at a portfolio of 700 plus students, looking at qualifications from um, level one up to level seven foundation degrees, um, background of nursing, um, courses, accountancy courses. So that gives me a lot of experience in understanding a lot of different um, work portfolios as well. So once we connected with the Gurdwara Sahib, I think one of the key things that, um, or the vision that our brothers had was, um, is to make a committee which would represent the diversity that we live in, and also to have more female representation on the committee. It is not to have women just to have a tick box exercise. It was to have women who would be working for a cause, women who would be contributing positively. And that's how the whole process started. Um, and I think we are very glad that we made to it. Yep, yeah, of course. <laughs> <Yes>. Actually <laughs> very humbled, I think, yes. to be, yeah. Um, um, it is humbling. Yeah, it is also yeah. a sense of achievement as yeah. well because it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a role that we have been uh, allocated, which is a great responsibility. And I will put my hand on my heart and say, I, I am no um, Gyani 
or have the complete knowledge. It's virtually impossible to have all knowledge. And, um, and hence why we sit in front of you seeking your guidance. We are here to learn. We are here to learn from you. So you are a guiding force. You tell us what needs to be done and how it needs to be done. We do have our own experience. As I've said, we have a journey and we know how, what we would like to do. Um, so any questions that you send to us, that's what we're looking at. How do we mold the roles that we have been given to meet the issues or any causes that, that arise in this modern society, in this different society that we live in? Um, so yes, going back, the committee, that's how the decision was. And the committee wasn't framed um, just to have representation. It was based on skills. We were looking at how different skills would contribute to what we want to have almost kind of a, a, a good portfolio. So that will meet the needs of the entire community that we have with us. And then we have, so we have all these skill set and skill set was mashed with the portfolios, not necessarily what I wanted to do. And hence when Priya Benji said, she <laughs> wanted to be health and well-being officer, <laughs> but she was given um, um, your matrimonial. It is because she has such an extensive experience in PR <laughs> and my God, um, Yes, I think that's the most beautiful suited portfolio for you. And of course, mm. we have a desire. I mean, I'm heavily into health and well-being. I wanted to do that role <laughs> as well <laughs> because I want, I'm so much into mental health. So um, but I think the beauty is irrespective of what, we stand here in unity. Yeah. So we guide each other. We work with each other. We ask each other what needs to be done. Um, so I think now I'm going to pass over to Vindi Penji again. So if she can, look, looking into the current situation and scenario that we're going through, if she can talk more about this COVID-19 and the anxiety that is creating and how it is best to handle that anxiety. What can we do with children, with our elderly? How do we reach out to society? So I think let's talk about mental health, if that is okay. So basically, as you can see the T-shirt that I'm wearing, if you can <laughs> see it, it represents our team ethos and the mindset of this team. We are Sangat Seva and we stand by Sangat Seva. Unfortunately, when we were elected, this beautiful, horrible disease affected the whole country, and we went into lockdown straight away. Unable to deliver the Sangat Seva as we wished to, so we, the committee decided that we could start the Hot Meals Langar Seva project to feed the local hospitals and homeless shelters and food banks. A lot of us have been involved since day one, and this seva started on Good Friday with the blessing of Guruji. And this seva has gone from strength to strength. We have had an enormous funds coming through, people volunteering, either doing seva here with a dedicated rota done by Ramnik Panji. Everything is standardized, there is protocols in place, COVID-19 plan policies in place. The Gurdwara Sahib is actually officially close to the general public. But the hot meal project carries on seven days a week, every day. So with that in place, the team and myself, we had to come through a plan and put in a policy procedure, health and safety in place how we were going to conduct the hot meals project, how we're going to protect the sevadars, how we're going to go out there and deliver the meals and also do it in a safe manner to protect the drivers and also the people receiving the meals. And it's all done on, in a strict rota. Everything is in rotation and there is also no more than six sevadars present, maximum eight on a day doing seva. And there's minimal amount, so two to three people in the kitchen itself doing the cooking. And then we have stations planned for the packing and also stations planned for the pre-preparations of the food. Everyone wears their masks, gloves if they want to, but we highly recommend everyone doing a strict policy of hand washing as recommended by the guidelines. So 20 seconds of thorough hand washing with soap. And then you have to keep your hands clean. And we also advocate that all sevadar females preferably wear scarves like myself, so you're not fondling and adjusting dupattes, and then you're also causing cross-contamination. 
So we are very strict in how we prepare the meals, how we deliver the meals, and how the pre-preparations are also taking place. The Gurdwara Sahib is close to the general public, but on, when there are funerals, we also have policies in place of how these funerals, prayers, and gatherings can take place. And we have recommended that no more than 20 family members, preferably not the elderly, attending the Gurdwara for the last rite prayers with the Ganiji coming back from the cremation center. So everything has been looked at and we are always and continuously reviewing the policy and how best we can protect our sevadars and also all the volunteers or volunteers that are coming in to participate with this seva. Now, with Guruji's gracings, all sevadars, including myself, we've been fine. Some of us have been tested and we are negative and we are still continuing this seva and we have a strict rota. The main concerns that I would have personally as well is those like Pami Antiji who is actually locked indoors since the day one of lockdown because of their vulnerable status, at risk, age, uh, medical, whatever their reasons can be. Now Pami Antiji is obviously in lockdown with her family, so she has family, she has grandchildren. But I'm also aware that there are people who are in lockdown completely isolated from any human contact and which is very concerning to a healthcare professional. How do you engage with them and how do you get them out of it from not increasing the rates of suicide, depressions, anything? Because when someone is alone and helpless, who do they turn to in their time of need? So we've also given our seva to people locally here to say if you need someone to talk to, outside our Gurdwara side, we have some banners which Sangat Seva has developed with contact telephone numbers, either they want langar or if, even if they want to talk to somebody, the numbers are there for people to get in touch with us. So Saad Sangaji, if you have any questions, then please direct your questions to me and hopefully with Guruji's grace, I'll be able to answer them for you. So my advice to all those in lockdown alone, please do not stay alone. If you have relatives, give them a call, FaceTime with them and relatives you do know that the older generation are not IT um, professionals like myself. I haven't got a clue as well. I'm not IT clued. So you can touch base with them. Call them once a day. Check on them. See how their well-being is. If they're living alone, they won't be coming out for shopping and doing their daily, daity, their daily duties. Try to get engaged. You can volunteer to get shopping done and leaving the shopping on the doorstep. A lot of the sevadars in other counties are also doing the same thing. Okay, You can encourage them if they have a back garden, they can go out in their back garden, do a little bit of exercise, walking around, getting a bit of sunshine when the day is nice. If they have no back garden, then strongly suggest they do some in their own homes. So these are things we can do to try to promote general health and well-being for those who are in complete isolation. And also there are a lot of people who are on prescribed medication so people can volunteer to go and say that we will pick up, pick up your prescriptions for you and drop them off at your doorstep. And it's all done with strict regulations of cleanliness. So hand washing is in very highly recommended and face masks if you're in direct contact with public. And I'm also going to now let Pami Antiji speak about how this has affected her because she has actually been in lockdown since day one. Pami Benji? Pami Benji? Hanji. Hello, hello. Hanji, please. Can you hear me? Hanji, Pami Benji, please share your experience. Pami Benji? Hello, hello. Hanji, hello. Hanji, hello, Pami. have been as isolated so many, and like like the others so many other people are in the same position 
And also, Penji Priya is living with um, an uncle. He's also quite elderly, Uncle Mahinder, and she also helps him a lot. So I'm going to pass it to uh, Penji Priya to see how she uh, deals with uh, uncle's uh, isolation. <laughs> well, that, that's quite a challenge. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you know, he's been really good. So in order for, to keep him, you know, occupied, um, he is really missing um, the seva at the Gurdwara. So it's like, uh, okay, what can I take for him so he feels that he's part of it? So the boxes um, that we send the food out in, we actually have our Gurdwara labels on. So he will sit there and he will do like about 250 labels a day. So that's, you know, got him happy there. And then he has his regular walks. Um, so to get out as well, because I think at this time, although it is lockdown, we have got, you know, the time to really look after ourselves, you know, eat well. Um, actually, I got him uh, listening to Veer Manpreet as well, but unfortunately, Veer Manpreet has his vocal cords are swollen, so for a few days, um, he's been missing that as well. But I'll put on... Um, you know, some gitan, some shabds, and he really loves that. And I think it's also a time to go within and really discover your soul. Um, you know, because we're always saying we don't have time. Um, we don't have time. Well, <laughs> Maharaj has given us time. Time to do our simran. Time to, you know, do the things and really see what do we want to do. Um, so there's always something to do. And if you do feel the, that you are going towards that depression, you know, it's always good to do something else, do a hobby, go, you know, go for a walk. Look at the beautiful, the birds sing in the morning, um, which we never really heard uh, so loudly before. Um, so it's all this beauty. Beauty is everywhere. And so, yes, he goes for his walk every day and he'll sit in the park and just admire the flowers and the greenery around us and the air that we breathe. It's free. Um, Very so, yeah, true. That's, it's really important. Because yeah. we're looking after people, people who are positive yeah. and people actually gasping and dying about dying to have oxygen. 
and when we have free air this which we it. don't have to pay for it and we don't think about these little little things that guruji or why guruji has blessed us with and this is also time for re yeah. reflection absolutely absolutely and you know we're here so if there's anybody who has questions who feels that they feel alone you're not alone you're never alone there's always somebody and you know um this is what the gurudwara is here for so please you know um call any one of us and we're there to listen to you or help you in any way i've just had a question I think before we move on, I think I'll just summarize oh, the first yeah. um, section. Sure. So thank you very much for that contribution from Pami Penji, Vindi Penji, and Priya. I think we go down, I, mean, I think I'm gonna come back because I have a few more questions for mental health and hence why I won't let you proceed with that question just come to you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's very important. One of the first and the foremost thing that we must understand is we are what we think. So one must take control of your thinking and to put that into perspective i think i think to put that into perspective i think it is really important that um, we must have a structure to our life and to everyday life because giving a structure gives you an opportunity to think what needs to be done next when there's not a structure then one thinks oh my god i haven't got anything else to do but as pami penji was saying there's so much to do at home that you know, days are not enough. So for me, it is like how you start cleaning. There's a structure to cleaning, there's a structure to my meditation, there's a structure to my simran. And as Vindi Penji was saying, we must look forward to do doing something. So I think one of the things that Gurdwara Sahib has done is, and I know Guru Pripaji and, our, and ourselves, and even from, Seva, um, from the Langar Hall, we've been reaching out to all our elderlies as far as possible we can. We've been sending out um, Deg to them. We've been sending out Langar to them. As um, Mindy Penji also emphasized, um, we, are, we have restrictions because we have a COVID plan which has been implemented. So we can only have so many people be in the Gurdwara Sahib for the Seva. But we're using every opportunity to reach out to our elderlies. However, my question is, again, I think um, because to Vindi Penji, different age groups come with different demand. So I think we're talking about our elderlies, but one of my understanding is our elderlies cope actually quite well. Mm, they're very, very active. They're very active because they've got so much. I think they actually struggle with not having enough time yeah. because they've got so much to do. Because, you know, um, I know from our um, aunties who, who visit Gurdwara Sahib, they can't sit still, you know. They look at basin and say, pakore banaliye. They look at something. So I'm sure, you know, they're keeping themselves really busy at home. But having that human factor, not being able to speak to somebody, I think that's definitely the key. And we, our responsibility for us youngster is to make sure we are ringing our elderlies. We are reaching out to them. We are talking to them. I think my next question to Vindi Penji is, what about the younger children? Mm. So I have a 15-year-old. And she's stuck indoors every day without any human contact when I'm at work for eight to 10 hours, sad. But the good thing is she has online curriculums which she has to do daily. The teachers do call to check in with their pupils. Fortunately with her school, that's what they're doing. But I do get it every time when I come home, mom, I've missed you. I haven't had anyone to talk to. I've not had a hug. I've not had a cuddle. And it brings me to tears because I'm also divided. I'm a professional nurse. I have to go out and do my work because that's what pays my bills. And then today, I'm here doing the seva to support the community that has given so much to me. So this is my time to give back to the community. And it's very important that in the evenings when I'm sitting down with her, we pray together, we do our rara sahib together. She does it, she leads on it, so I give her that capacity. We do a bit of simran because my daughter is a great tabla player and she's also playing the guitar, so we do some simran together. And then if she has done some questions with her school teachers or she's done some artwork, we talk about it because we always say we have it in practice to say how has been your day so she'll ask me that and i will tell her what my day has been like normally very short answers and then she will give me her day and it's always very long so i listen to her so while i'm listening to her she's letting it out so it's very important to be positive and engaging with the younger generation as well because often they don't know how to express their inner feelings they don't know 
why I'm feeling in this way, Do I, is it, has it affected me or not? So you have to go home with a smile and say, right, talk to me, I'm here, let it all out. And in another way, it gives me back to normality when I go through my doors, that I'm not a nurse anymore, I'm not a professional, I'm a mum and I've come home. So this is what I am now, this is me, Vindi, this is me in flesh. So then we wind down together, we cuddle up on the sofa, we watch TV and then we go to bed and we make dinner together. So these are things I get her involved with me, integrated with me to get her out of that loneliness so she doesn't fall into that category because like I said, she has no human contact for eight to 10 hours every day. So this is things that we can do. She also can ring me and sometimes when she has a line, she rings me at work to say, good morning, mom, I'm awake now and we just have a very quick banter and then that's it. So for her, it's touch basing that I can speak to my mom. And also she's very close to my other family members, my sister, my brother-in-law, where she can ring them or they will ring her at specific times or at different times just to check in on her to see, because I'm at work, sometimes I don't have the time to answer calls, so they do this to help me out. And I'm fortunate I've got families and I've got friends who volunteered to even care for her. But because of the restrictions we have with COVID-19, I have limited that and she stays indoors. Lovely, thank you very much. So I think it does take us back to summarizing it. A, I think irrespective of the age group, we need a structure. And B, we need to listen to each other. We need to make more efforts to reach out and contact each other, speak to each other, talk to each other. And I think with younger children, it would be really helpful if you have activities which are pre-planned and designed so they can keep themselves busy. Again, as I said, like elderly, young children can keep themselves really busy as well. But sometimes um, their busyness might create more work for you, which is actually good <laughs> nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> because if they spill things, it is more for you to clean, so you're busy as well. But I think it's to, cre it's to create um, positive engagement with the younger generation. And on that note, I will make a reference. Uh, Gurdwara Sahib um, is, is running, conducting a lot of online Zoom Punjabi sessions. So we can, we are going to, I think, uh, share those details on Facebook page. These are beautiful, beautiful sessions where our group of volunteers, Navleen Penji, Manpreet Singh Ahuja, Manpreet Kaur Anand, Jasveen Kaur, um, Dupinder Kaur, Alag, and William, they all um, <laughs> con they conduct these lessons with such great passion. Yeah. I sit on those lessons and I learn so much. Like they, they've been conducting lessons on Ardas, on Gurbani. There's also scope for us to more lessons. If the demand is true, we can run through the Gurdwara Sahib online lessons of how to teach tabla and harmonium. We have Gyanijis here who can conduct those sessions. But this is what I'm asking you. If there's a need, please reach out because we can only do what you're gonna ask us to do. Um, and if there's a need for it, there's a demand for it, we will put, in, put that in place for you. That is what we are giving a confirmation of. Um, I think now I'm going to ask Vindi Penji to answer the question which came to her a while ago. No, no. <laughs> so she can talk about Sorry it. to whoever who <laughs> sent me this message. <laughs> Ramnik doesn't stop. <laughs> so basically the question is, can you talk about hygiene on when entering the home after being out? So what do you do when you're going home, either from work, from shopping, or from doing seva? So myself personally, I have a big bag of wet wipes. Um, not hand sanitizer, just wet wipes. I have a bad habit, good habit, say it, cleaning down my steering wheel, the inside of my car where my hand contact is on a daily basis. So the moment I walk through the door, I go straight into the bathroom and I wash my hands and my feet. That has been a ritual from day one, not only because of the lockdown. So washing your hands is the most important thing. If you've come back from doing your shopping, the first thing I do, I don't know if everyone does it, is when you're emptying the stuff, I already wiping things down from the packaging and then putting them away. And then you wash your hands thoroughly. The bags where the handles, I clean them down again with wet wipes. If you don't have wet wipes, just warm soap water will do. And you just dry the bags. Then you fold the bags and you put them away. So washing hands is the most important thing. And if you don't feel well, for instance, some days like with hay fever now, there's people with hay fever symptoms, you'll be sniffling slightly, you'll be sneezing, you'll be coughing. Best thing to do is you do it into the creak of your elbow 
or you always walk around with some tissues like this, okay? So it's basically common sense. Prevention is better than cure. Okay, that's really good. Thank you very much. Um, we have a few more questions, and I think I might ask Priya Penji to contribute because Priya Penji has quite an extensive experience with um, meditation and physical and mental health. So we have been talking about it, Priya Penji. Mm -hmm. I think if you can just elaborate more from your experience, so that we're talking about for how to keep... Um, healthy both physically and mentally for different age groups. So let's start with the younger age groups, so if you have more to add to it, and then we just progress further on. So just How young? Just structure. Um, <laughs> Baby. I think that babies would be quite okay with their moms. I think yeah. I'd be looking five, five years old. So when they get to, yes, yeah, it's that yes, five onwards. terrible too. Yes. And, oh. um, ooh. I mean, I think if you get the children, you know, from the beginning, um, I think yoga and the breathing is very, very important um, because it actually, if your body, your body needs to be healthy. Um, so if the children are used to it from the beginning, um, yoga, being more flexible and doing their Simran, you know, um, I mean, we've got, uh, you know, the little ones, the little Sangat here, actually, who, um, you know, they do Simran. And they do their mool mantar. If they can't do the, you know, jabji sahib, just mool mantar. Just to, you know, basically um, get them doing that at the beginning. You know, when they get up, they're doing simran with either yourselves, you know, or two. Um, because with iPads these days, kids are just like so good with them. Um, it's easier for them to follow on there. Um, but it... it you know, gets them doing things with their parents as well. So if you're at home, you know, they're doing their Simran, then they do their yoga, and, you know, and what do they eat, you know? I mean, I know when I was a kid, no fizzy drinks, um, and none of this junk food. So even to, the, to this day, I mean, if I have Coke, <laughs> it'll probably just be one sip, you know? Um, so yeah, you get them in that habit and children are actually more, um, they'll adapt to it more at a younger age and they'll be more flexible as well. So yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's about it, I think. I think that's I mean, really, much that's more, a big, but like, yeah. very beautiful advice, I think. And for me, from my teaching experience, I think what I would contribute is, I keep going back to providing a structured timetable. <laughs> <laughs> um, so starting a day with um, meditation, of, with Mool Mantra, yoga, mm. breathing exercises, and then taking children through a phase because the creativity of children depends on different phases of the day as well, what time of the day it is. So you have to design activities around it. So, you know, you might be doing online maths, maths um, activities, challenges, uh, you know, um, spellings with English, you could be doing that as for different age groups. Then you must, must, what I would say, add some physical activity in there. So you have at, at least 30 to 40 minutes of physical activity where they are fully engaged with whatever they are doing. And then take them into the creative art um, section. So they, do, they create something. What was really beautiful, what we started in our college was called Project Grow. It was absolutely fabulous just to see, you know, st these are grown up children who are youth and a 16 year old seeing their reaction. How when they had sowed a, a seed, and when they saw, they saw the plant, you know, um, blooming in the, the reaction of, oh my God, I've created something. Mm. So, and we did that to teach compassion, to teach love, because these are the things which you have to teach indirectly. So when you teach your children to look after something, it's teaching them, you know, the, the practical aspects of love, compassion, kindness, savor. So, for, for me, it is like you have to think of, A, you also have to take into consideration the preferences of children as well. What do they like to do? And not force them to do things because they should be accepting what needs to be done. Um, and it becomes easy from their perspective. I think I'm, I'm actually very impressed. I think because we, we did not think we'd be able we to, would be to talk to, yes, to one hour. hour, but we still have quite a lot to go through. So I think I'm might going to ask Priya Penji, you know, have, take a minute or so if you could, would, would like to talk a little bit more about the matrimonial, how are we proceeding yeah. with that, please? So I would really appreciate okay, that. Okay, so you. yeah, we just came in and then, then we had this lockdown. So, um, but that doesn't stop us um, working behind the scenes. Um, 
we are looking at a different uh, system whereby um, we're going to, you know, put it on to a link onto the Gudwara um, website and put like profiles up. So we are working on that behind the scenes right now. However, that doesn't stop uh, anybody who's looking for a partner. Um, you know, please send in the applications. Um, just go onto the website, uh, all the information's there, download um, the form. And, you know, we can still look at it because we can still introduce by, you can talk to one another. You might not be able to meet one another, but you can talk to one another and then we can just take it from there. So, you know, the registration fee is, uh, is 31? Yeah. You can, 31. 31. Are you going to give some COVID um, compensation, some concession on that? <laughs> yeah. We can talk about that, so um, give me a call. <laughs> or give Gurpreet uh, VG a call. Um, one of us, any of us, actually, and then we can sort something out. But, um, yeah, we are still open for that. So please do give, uh, give us a call or, you know, ask us questions on the Facebook page as well and we will get back to you because there's always somebody who's looking at them. So that is all going on. I mean, we've got ideas and I've discussed it with the rest of the committee as well and the Sangat and I think it'd be nice to do events. So I'm really looking forward to doing like afternoon teas and a little bit of uh, class in there, you know. Um, to give people, you know, time to have a social meet. And I've already spoken to some, like, um, stately homes, lovely hotels. So, yeah, just watch this space. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> As you can see, Sat Sangaji, we are all bubbling with excitement. <laughs> we have so many ideas that we want to carry forward. But having said that, COVID or no COVID, there's nothing stopping us. We're still moving on. We're still in Chardikala. We are still, Gurdwara Sahib is open for a, a, a seva that we would like to talk about now. So from past month or so, we have been running hot meal seva from the Gurdwara Sahib. We are reaching out to our NHS workers and key workers and also food banks, um, youth hostels and providing food. Now this seva is from the Gurdwara Sahib and it is your contribution in this seva which matters a lot. So I am going to ask, without any hesitation, please contribute to the seva. Let's make the seva so successful that people will remember. And to just put things in perspective, I'm going to read out some messages. Some of these messages are really eye-opener. So one of the messages we received is, thank you for your kindness. The food we received today was very helpful. Me and my child was able to eat today. Okay. Thank you. So, Saad Sangaji, hot meal seva, this is the difference it is making. This is what our gurus have said. This langar needs to reach those people who need it most. And at this time, this is a crisis. If it is difficult, if we are dealing with concerns and issues of isolation of mental health, think of those people who were already disadvantaged. They are almost double, you know, treble disadvantaged now. You know, they're dealing with those issues and in addition they're dealing with hunger um, another one delicious meal really appreciated by a tired doctor very proud to be Sikh and see our community represented so well by your endless seva why guruji ka khalsa why guruji ki fateh so what we have done is when we put those labels on on the box on the lunch um, hot meal boxes that are going out. There's a link there where individuals can provide us feedback as well. We started with the initiative that we wanted to know if you're meeting the requirements in terms of it shouldn't be too hot because I know we Indians eat very mirchamala khana. So we just wanted to make sure we were meeting the need of everyone that um, was consuming that langar seva. Um, but beautiful messages have started coming through. And I think I had to work in my guzarish kardiya. Please donate liberally to this saver so we can carry on with this saver. There are online links which will be advertised along with this um, live streaming. You can donate online, you can ring us directly. Um, we are also open to save others who want to come help, but those plans are implemented with a lot of rigor. So, tan man tan jedi seva tusi kar sakdeo, please do so. 
And with that, we will have, we have a last minute, two minutes Simran, and we shall be ending our direct which are a conversation with you. We will be back. I will be back with my other two committee members. I will be quizzing more of them, and you will get to know us more. Satgur ki seva safal hai Je kukre chit lae Satgur ki seva safal hai Je kukre चित लाए सतगुरु की सेवा